In this video, I'm going to show you the Fright Props High Torque Prop Motor. I'm also going to show you how to operate it with the PicoVolt controller. The Fright Props High Torque Prop Motor has three wires coming from it. The red is positive, blue is negative for high speed, and green is negative if you want to run it at low speed. You must use a high amp 12 volt power supply such as this 12 volt 5 amp power supply that's available from Fright Props. You could cut off the end of the power supply and twist them onto your wires or you can use the Fright Props power supply adapter which simply plugs into the end of the power supply and lets you screw your wires right into it. I'm going to screw red into the positive terminal and I'm going to screw blue into the negative terminal and you'll see the motor will start to go at a high speed. I'm now going to remove the blue wire and install the green wire which will run the motor in slow speed. If you want to reverse the direction of the motor, simply reverse the wires. I'm going to put red into negative. And I'm going to put blue into positive. As you can see, the motor is running in the reverse direction at high speed. And similarly, if you want it to run in reverse direction at low speed, Simply put the green wire into positive. We offer the PicoVolt motor controller to control the speed and programming of a motor. This allows you to make the motor go slow or fast, and it also allows you to program a sequence where the motor can go forward and reverse. I'm going to screw the wires from the motor into the back of the PicoVolt. Red goes into positive. And blue goes into negative. And the power supply simply plugs into the picovolt. Now when I hold the record button in on the picovolt, it's going to record everything I do on the wheel. I can go forward really fast or really slow and I can also go in the other direction and back up and go slow and fast. And I can do this over again forward and backwards in any way I like. When I let go of the record button after a few seconds it's going to start playing back that sequence and it'll repeat that sequence endlessly. If you hold the record button down for less than three seconds, it will put it in manual mode, which allows you to dial in a speed and just leave it there. In this case, no program is being played back. It's simply staying at the set speed that you, you set with the wheel.